Good morning, fourth graders. Today we are doing our final lesson of chapter four, and this is all about using those division skills we've learned to solve word problems. So we're gonna go through this word problem, and I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. One is with a method called cubes that some of you may be familiar with, and then one is using the same stuff, just writing it out a little bit different. So you'll see it both ways. Lucia picked three times as much corn as Eli. Together, they picked 96 ears of corn. Now that should sound very familiar to you because that's something we learned in our last chapter with multiplicative comparison. Eli wants to divide the number of ears he picked equally among five bags, or sorry, eight bags. How many ears of corn will Eli put in each of the eight bags? So, well, I need to figure out how to use this information. So I like to go through and as I'm reading, I like to circle these numbers because they're most likely going to be important. I'm going to circle the numbers. That's the C. Underline the question. So I want to solve how many ears of corn will Eli put in each of his eight bags. That's what I need to solve by the end of this. I want to box the keywords. So the first one is this times as much. Times as much tells me, helps me figure out I need to draw my special model. It also tells me I'm multiplying. Um, together is a keyword here. And equally is a keyword here. And there's another important number, eight bags. So now I've gone through this. Now I need to figure out what to do with it. So I need to find the number of um, ears of corn. in each bag. And I know that just because that's what the question is asking me. So I know, now I gotta go through and figure out what I know. Well, I already know that Lucia picked three times as much. It doesn't mean that Lucia picked three ears of corn. It means whatever Eli picked, she did three times that many. So I have to figure out, a lot. I've got some math to do here. Together, I know that when I add up Lucia's total and Eli's total, I should get the number 76, or sorry, 96, sorry, 96 ears of corn, because all together, that's how much they picked. The number of ears that Eli picked are divided equally among eight bags, and this is all information that I'm getting straight from this word problem. Okay, so we're going to draw the bar model that helps me figure this out. So on this one, the bar model is already drawn for us, so I'm going to explain it to you. So I know that at first I'm comparing Lucia and Eli's numbers of ears of corn that they picked. I know that because Lucia picked three times as many. So you notice that Lucia has three boxes because she picked three times as many and Eli just has one because whatever Eli did, Lucia did three times as much as that. I also know that together they scored nine, they um, picked 96 years of corn. So this little um, arm bar thingy, I call it a little hug. It's hugging both Lucia and Eli because all of theirs together equals 96. So I need to figure out, first of all, what's inside these boxes. I do that by taking my 96 and I'm dividing it by one, two, three, four boxes because these four boxes have to equal 96 and there's four times whatever's in the box. They all have the same amount in the box. So I'm gonna do 96 divided by four. Remember our steps, divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. Four goes into nine two times. Two times four is eight. I subtract and I get one left over. So I bring down my six Four goes into 16 four times. Four times four is 16. I subtract, there's nothing left. That means that there are 24 inside each box. So I can go ahead and fill this in. I like to fill in all the stuff I know as I'm getting these done, just so I can organize my information. Now, I really don't need to know anything else about Lucia because now we're just dealing with Eli. We know now that he picked 24 ears of corn and he wants to split his up into eight equal boxes. So here's my 24 
This is all that Eli picked, and here's his eight bags. I guess bags or boxes. But there's his eight bags. We want to figure out how much he could put into all eight of these bags, and they have to be equal. So I'm going to do 24 divided by 8. And this is one of our basic facts, but 8 can't go into 2. It can go into 24 three times. So 3 times 8 is 24, and I'm subtracting it 0. That means that he could put 3 ears of corn in every single bag. Now, once I've done my math, I always have to come back to the question, did I really answer what I was supposed to? It says, how many ears of corn will Eli put in each of the eight bags? Well, altogether, he's going to put 24 ears of corn, but in each bag, he's going to put three ears of corn. So how many ears of corn will he put in a bag? Three. How can I check my answer? Well, I can, first of all, to check if I got 24 correct, I could do... 96 times or sorry 24 times 4 and see if I get 96 or I could add those all up they should equal 96 then I could see if 3 times 8 really does give me 24 and that's how I can check my work have a wonderful day guys see you later